Welcome to TreeSat. Today I am going to discuss the application of space technology in agriculture. So, after understanding the previous uh, discussion and session regarding uh, space technology and its application, how it functions, so you will be able to understand this uh, uh, topic and episode very clearly. So, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farm Welfare has been proactive in using the space technology in agricultural sector. So, uh, with the application of space technology being discussed in the previous episode, how can we apply the space technology for the development of agriculture will be the discussion in this episode. The ministry since early 80s has been funding various projects under, under which Indian Space Research Organization developed a, a meteorological methodology methodologies for crop production forecasting. So, with the help of these technologies, certain methodologies are being uh, uh, followed for forecasting crop production with the help of space technology. So, what are these different methodologies? We will be examining uh, uh, methodology by methodology to forecast uh, uh, or to give a good decision support system to farming. The Department of Agriculture, Cooperation and Farm Welfare established a center called Mahanlobi's National Crop Forecasting Center in 2012 for, for operationalization uh, of the space technology developed in the Indian Space Research Organization for crop production forecasting. So, to forecasting means to estimate in advance. Uh, what will be the amount of agricultural product with the help of uh, space technology is the main uh, aim of this program. The department has another center called Soil and Land Use Survey of India, which uses satellite data for soil resource mapping. Currently, the department is using space technology for its various programs areas such as Forecasting agricultural output using space, uh, agro meteorology, land based observation projects. So, what do you mean by this forecasting agricultural output? Uh, so, forecasting agricultural output is you must be able to estimate uh, and uh, know the amount of agricultural output you are going to get in the upcoming financial year. So, how can we do this? With the help of uh, satellite technology, is you can uh, Estimate the extent of agricultural area being cultivated by the farmers. You can identify even the different variant types of crops being cultivated. So, in this process, uh, you will be able to identify different crops being cultivated. Apart from this, the extent of area being cultivated will not be sufficient enough to estimate the product. Even the percentage of rainfall or the, the rainfall, whether it is positive to the average or negative to the average of precipitation also impacts the production. So, with the help of satellite, uh, weather forecasting, the amount of rainfall uh, can be easily estimated. So, with the help of these parameters in terms of the precipitation capacity in a region and the extent of cultivation will give a idea to the different departments like agriculture and finance departments to estimate the agricultural product to estimate the budgets in the budget in the upcoming financial year is one of the main application of space technology in agriculture next is agro meteorology means uh, the weather impacts the weather and climate impacts the agriculture so you must be able to estimate forecast the performance of monsoons whether the monsoon is going to manifest uh, more than the average or the, if the monsoon fails can be estimated with the satellite technology because before the monsoons arrive to India, they start in the equatorial region in the summer. So, in the month of May, with the help of satellite technology, the strength of the monsoons, the direction of the monsoons, the velocity of the monsoons, the percentage of humidity of the monsoons can be estimated in advance with satellite technology. So, these parameters can give you uh, a certain information and you can estimate the you can estimate the percentage of precipitation in a region. 
so which is known as agro meteorology and uh, land based observation uh, project so with the help of uh, satellite technology you can observe the different regions topography you can study the topography of the regions topography is studying the surface features of the earth in terms of slope gradient whether it is rugged or uh, valleys or plain or plateau can be uh, read very easily and the type of crops need to be cultivated what type of crops need to be cultivated uh, in these regions on the basis of these different factors of uh, uh, agro meteorological factors and topographical factors land based factors a farmer can be given a good uh, decision making to choose a crop to cultivate so that there will be maximization of produce with this decision support system with technology of satellite farming <clears throat> the coordinated programs on horticulture assessment and management uh, uh, management using geoinformatics project so this horti horticulture cultivation is been done with the help of geoinformatics project so what do you mean by this uh, horticulture horticulture is the cultivation of uh, fruits vegetables flowers uh, <clears throat> with a uh, crop management is horticulture uh, assumes and uh, management using uh, geoinformatics so what do you mean by geoinformatics geoinformatics is acquiring the information with the help of uh, internet of things satellites communication systems uh, you will be able to get uh, coordinate combine different uh, information parameters together to arrive at uh, a solution to your problem so in the case of agriculture what are the parameters you need to combine together to make a choice to make a decision in agriculture for example you need to know the nature of the soil you need to know the organic composition of the soil you need to know the mineral composition of the soil you need to know the humidity in a region so the topography slope gradient uh, the climatic region into which a region belongs to so so uh, the type of available uh, uh, infrastructure in terms of transportation market yards uh, the all these different aspects uh, when you are able to get all this information together then you can make a choice and a decision to cultivate this is possible with geoinformatics geoinformatics is acquiring the information of different parameters with the help of infrastructure of communications satellites and other networks possible with internet of things so uh, this horticulture marketing the fruits you have cultivated the flowers you have harvested Uh, need to be harvested at a right time because these are perishables you must be able to send to the market where they are in demand in right time without this geo informatic systems agriculture is not possible the farmer will uh, le lead to losses if the satellite technology is been used in a better way with the geo informatic systems the farmer will be able to make maximize uh, the profits so this is so these uh, uh <clears throat> topics are uh, these are the pro, uh, these are the programs which you need to mention definitely when you are, when you are going to write about uh, uh application of space technology uh in agriculture so for example national agricultural drought assessment and monitoring system uh, uh, is a program so what is happening here a farmer cannot go for always a similar crop because there are certain crops which consume more amount of irrigation there are certain crops which consume less amount of irrigation there might be a monsoon season where there is abundant surplus amount of precipitation there might be a monsoon season no, where there is a deficit of uh, rainfall so when you are able to predict the upcoming monsoon nature the type of crop uh, selected uh, varies so <clears throat> in this case of a monitoring system drought assessment and monitoring system depending upon the forecasting of the monsoons if they are less than the average you are going to suggest the farmer a type of crop like red gram or black gram which is not much irrigation intensive as compared to as compared to rice uh, or sugarcane etc so this kind of technology helps in helps in uh, giving a suggestion to the farmer so that he will not get into losses otherwise irrespective of the performance of the monsoons if a, if a farmer chooses rice or paddy uh, if the monsoons fail the farmer is going to incur losses 
So, this is how satellite technology is helpful. Uh, rice fallow area mapping and intensification, geotagging of infrastructures and assets uh, created under uh, uh, Rastre Krishi Vikas Yojana and crop insurance. So, to, to execute these kind of uh, programs, you need to be clear with these kind of conditions. So, so for example, rice fallow area mapping. So, to what extent uh, uh, farmers are ready to cultivate uh, by ploughing the land uh, for the purpose of cultivation will give you an estimate of the upcoming uh, agricultural produce. Geotagging of uh, infrastructure. So, what is happening is geotagging is with the help of uh, the satellite technology, you can uh, uh, demarcate certain regions uh, where the respect to infrastructure is available or not. For example, market yard, cold storage uh, uh, will be a support system to the farmer for storing their harvest and uh, uh, selling their produce. So, this will help to identify the essential infrastructure for the farmer to sell his produce to maximize the profit, which has been organized by these uh, programs uh, by the government. The space technology helps getting fast and unbiased information. So, the information in what you are receive, receiving by the satellites uh, is unbiased uh, b it, because it is not being subject to by individuals. Uh, it is uh, information given by a machine, so it will be as it is uh, without any distortions. About the crop situation in the country, it provides digital data which is, um, which is uh, amenable to various analysis. So, with the kind of different kinds of data being collected which can be used for analysis to arrive at a solution because of its uh, synoptic view means manifesting or characterized by comprehensiveness means by using all the information together you will come to a conclusion that is known as a synoptic view by considering all the factors, the monsoon factors, the type of crop you are cultivating, the price in the market, uh, the infrastructure for storage, all these are the type of uh, uh, soil, the type of fertilizers need to be used or uh, uh, all the information uh, is uh, all of them are considered to make a decision. So, it provides images for the images of the whole country in a very short duration. The other advantage is you are getting the information of the whole country in a very short duration with the help of satellite technology because they have got the zenith view, the highest view possible and fast communication. Hence, this data can be used for various programs which need information on crop types, crop area estimates, crop condition, crop damages, crop growth. So, what are the different types of crops being cultivated in different regions? What are the different types of crops need to be cultivated? Uh, the decision support system given by the agricultural department to the farmers. So, what is the extent of cultivation of a crop so that this rice, wheat or sugarcane or uh, estimates can be made very easily? Crop condition, whether the crop is growing well or not, uh, whether it is a deficit of some uh, nutrition can be identified with the help of uh, satellite technology. So, so, the damages can be prevented in advance. So, the Department of Agriculture, Cooperation and uh, Farmers Welfare had launched uh, Kisan Crop Insurance using Space Technology and Geoinformatics Project. So, based upon this, uh, an insurance program and it is been uh, uh, working. Uh, whom need to be served to confirm or to authenticate whether the certain region or the farmer being impacted to make this program serve the farmer can be confirmed with the help of the observation being made with uh, the satellite technology so that uh, the right farmer will be provided the support required uh, so that the farmers can be saved. The project envisages the use of high resolution remote sensing data for optimum crop cutting experience, experiment, planning and improving yield estimates. So, what is happening is yield estimates is required. How much amount of agricultural produce we are going to get in the upcoming uh, financial year, the government need to have a plan so that accordingly for food security, the government may take steps in advance to avoid uh, food scarcity. So, these estimates will give you an advanced prepared plan to avoid drought kind of disaster in advance.
so that uh, the deficit areas will be supplied with the essential required food material. So, these are all the different applications of space technology in uh, agriculture. Under this project, uh, pilot studies were conducted in four districts of four states in Haryana, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. So, the study provided many useful inputs uh, for smart sampling yield estimation, optimum number of crop cutting experiments, which were used to define standard operation procedures for use of satellite data in the revised guidelines of uh, uh, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana. So, what is happening is uh, in the crop yield uh, uh, insurance, whom need to be given the exact uh, insurance support to the farmers can be easily identified with the help of this satellite technology because the crop growth, development, damage, type of crop being cultivated can be easily identified. You can even identify the region which has been impacted by drought. So, by estimating all this data, a right farmer can be supported exactly who has got impacted by because of a drought. So, these are all the different applications of uh, space technology in agriculture. The department is carrying out a large number of pilot studies through government and non-governmental agencies for use of space technology in optimizing uh, crop cutting experiments. So, a major requirement of uh, PMFBY, the department is also using satellite remote sensing data for monitoring agricultural situation of 29 uh, double risk district. So, what is happening here is as I have mentioned, the satellites have got the capacity to observe throughout the country simultaneously what is happening. So, because of this reason, what happens is the farmers will be, the government will be able to get certain information in advance of different regions. So, that, uh, so that decisions can be made in advance before the occurrence of the disaster like drought with the help of estimation GIS and considering all the parameters in advance about the approaching drought or less rainfall or the type of crop need to be cultivated uh, etc can be estimated very easily with space technology. So, one of the major application of uh, space technology in agriculture is precision agriculture. The synonymous words being used for precision agriculture is satellite farming. Site specific crop management is an application of space technology in agriculture. So, why it is known as precision agriculture? Because precisely what is essential for farming for that plot can be can addition be made by the Department of Agriculture for the farmer because of the communication systems existing between the farmer and the agricultural department. So, Precision farming is a decision support system to the farmer. The decision is regarding what is exactly required to the farm. It is also known as satellite farming because this is been done with the help of satellite communication. This is known as site specific crop management because every plot being cultivated have different conditions. So, the kind of crop need to be cultivated in a region, the kind of fertilizers need to be used in a region are not the same varying from region to region. So, on this basis what is exactly required to the field in that region is specified so that the input cost is been reduced and output is maximized is the main aim of precision farming which is done with the help of satellites. It is a farming management concept based on observing measuring and responding to intra and interfield variations. Uh, so, what do you mean by this intra and interfield variations? So, within the village itself, a region might be having a black cotton soil or black soil or a red soil or laterite soil varying from region to region in the same village. So, accordingly, the decision need to be given for a black cotton soil and the red soil is not the same. So, which is known as intra and interfield variation can be identified with the help of satellite technology uh, is a decision support system for whole farm management with the goal of optimizing returns with, pres uh, with uh, uh, preserving resources is the main aim of uh, precision agriculture. So, whole farm management is not just suggesting the farmer when to sow the seeds 
what kind of fertilizers what kind of pesticides when to harvest when to market when to transport this is a whole decision support system so how this has been made with the help of uh, with the help of uh, satellite technology has been mentioned in space technology so the different kinds of satellites with the help of geostationary satellites and remote sensing satellites uh, the information being received will be given to the farmers by the agricultural department so for this uh, site specific crop management uh, the farmer need to have a smartphone and he need to download an application uh, app required to connect to the agriculture department regionally so that uh, there will be a, a communication process between the farmer and the agriculture department where the agriculture department even though you have got n number of thousands of farmers uh, will be able to suggest uh, the farmer the optimum conditions required the reason behind it is physically moving uh, of the government employees to each and every farmer is difficult because of uh, the small plots of the farm land we have got but when communication is been possible with the help of this kind of satellite farming interacting and giving a decision support system to each and every farmer is very easy that is the other advantage with uh, satellite farming with space technology so this has got certain uh, stages uh, in this satellite farming in this uh, first you need to get registered so you you need to register as a farmer so your passbook of the land is been linked to the aadhar card and your phone number so that the agriculture department will be able to identify your location and your name etc so that you are the real time farmer after uh, registering analysis will be done analysis is for example in the case of uh, analysis is considered uh what is the region what is the climatic region type of soil the distance away from the market about the precipitation the type of crops cultivated all these conditions are uh, fertilizers essential <clears throat> are taken into consideration and addition support is been given to the farmer then the functioning of uh, application of all these information is been done so that in the process of harvesting when to harvest when to transport uh, so right from the time duration of selecting the time duration to sow the seeds necessary fertilizers pesticides and the type of crop need to be selected type of variant of crop need to be selected when to harvest when to transport and uh, the sale is a sequence of stages of support system being given by the satellite farming with uh, space technology will maximize the profit to the farmers because in general some uh, some of the farmers might be illiterate so in this process to give the information about the market conditions price of uh, the agricultural produce to maximize his profit to sell uh, on the day where the price of his goods is maximum in the market yard the, if this information is being given on the right day the farmer will be able to transport the goods to the market yard to maximize the profit is a decision support system so it follows a approach known as phytogeomorphological approach it follows an approach known as phytogeomorphological approach so what do you mean by phytogeomorphological approach phytogeomorphological approach is a condition where phyto means plant geomorphology means studying the external features of the earth on the external features of the earth you have got black cotton soil or rugged terrain plateaus plains different variant types of soils alluvial soil etc so a a type of crop or a plant is been acquainted to a different variant types of soils and topography for example tea requires a well drained area whereas rice requires a water stagnating condition so the topographical terrain will give you an idea where there is good drainage mechanism where water will not stagnate and you will be able to identify a region where water stagnates well so accordingly on the basis of a phytogeomorphological approach plants which are best suitable to a topography can be estimated perfectly on the basis of its suggestion is been given to the farmers uh, is helpful in multi layer multi year cropping stability so this helps in multi year cropping stability whether we are proofing the monsoon here whether the monsoon is above the average or whether the monsoon fails when this decision support system is been given 
every year irrespective of the performance of the monsoons what is happening is the farmer can produce because he is being given a right duration according to the conditions which is known as multi year cropping stability is been acquired through phytogeomorphological approach phytogeomorphological approach with the help of satellite technology this is uh, done with the help of uh, gps and gn assess so the global positioning system is a, an example of a navigation system so the navigation system which has been established by india indigenously uh, combined together uses this technology for making a better decision support system to the farmer so the farmers and researchers ability to locate their precision precise position in a field allows for the creation of maps of different spatial variability like so this kind of knowledge with gs of a different information you will be able to get topography whether it is a rugged terrain or a plain or a soft soil or a valley or a plateau so that is what topography is and organic matter so organic matter uh, in the soil is essential because it not only supplies the essential nutrition like nitrogen it also helps in it also helps in uh, retaining the soil moisture required so when you have got more amount of organic composition the irrigation essential will be less so depending upon these conditions the farmer will be given a, a information in advance to take necessary steps regarding vegetation regarding irrigation uh, regarding a irrigation so uh, in this case of uh, different conditions what happens is the farmer might be even suggested in terms of uh, the amount of organic matter need to be added to the crop land with the help of compost derived from uh, dairy development uh, etc uh, 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 suggestions in different dimensions one way to increase the irrigation the other way is to improve the organic composition by adding the compost derived from uh, the dairy waste uh, will enhance the quality of soil can be given in terms of improving the organic matter moisture level nitrogen level so the amount of nitrogen required so that uh, accordingly nitrogen will be provided to the soil the ph ph is uh, the potency of uh, supplying hydrogen ion which decides the uh, acidic nature and the basic nature of the soil so accordingly to maintain the essential ph uh, then only a crop can be cultivated well for example because of salinization there is more amount of salt being accumulated so to neutralize this salinization uh, gypsum is been added so such kind of decisions are been given to the farmer by understanding the ph of uh, the soil electric conductivity electric uh, conducting is a kind of condition where there are certain minerals dissolved in ionic state sodium potassium magnesium these are different variant types of minerals uh, which are present in the soil which can channelize move in the plants uh, because of ionic uh, attractions because these atoms uh, ions are charged atoms uh, which can exert a electrical uh, uh, pull to one another depending upon the uh, charges of the ions on positive and negative charges there will be a flow of minerals into the plant so when there is uh, electrical conducting means the ionic nature the minerals has got to flow effectively into the plants is uh, the electric conductivity of um, of the soil because of which minerals like magnesium and potassium flow into the plants as micronutrients can be analyzed with satellite forming so uh, this is how this is how satellite forming uh, based upon space technology is been applied for the development of uh, agriculture so okay friends this is we shall meet in the next episode regarding uh, different other topics need to be discussed in science and technology thank you